Hey everyone, it's been over two minutes and I haven't been raped yet. Unless you count a DMCA takedown of one of my videos. Hi, I'm Diana Davison. I wanted to start out 2016 talking about freedom of speech on the internet. And I'm going to put a link below to a video, which is a TED Talk given by Tim Berners-Lee. If you don't know who that is, he was the inventor of the World Wide Web, which is essentially what most people think of as the internet. And in this TED Talk, he is suggesting, this was just in 2014, that a Magna Carta be produced or created to um, guarantee rights of internet users from censorship and from government controls. It's a fabulous idea. I think we should make this happen. And today I'm going to talk about a connected issue, freedom of speech related, and that has to do with abuses of the DMCA or Digital Millennium Copyright Act to silence people who you don't like. You're not happy with what they've said. And this is what happened um, with not just my video, but as I discovered soon afterwards, with another video um, done by Roosh V on the same subject. This is a documentary done by Sundog Productions for the BBC. And Roosh is the more interesting case here because he was the subject of the documentary for a huge portion of it. My video, um, basically what I did was I took their documentary, two of them, there was um, also one about uh, homosexuality, and I reversed the subject. So I discussed what their documentary said about the filmmakers, and that falls under fair use. We'll get into that a bit later. But what happened to Roosh is far more stunning because as far as I'm concerned, if Roosh took every second of the documentary, which was discussing him as a person, and responded to every second of footage in which he was the subject, I think that that is fair use as well. Yet he has had his video removed. So I'm going to look at his website so you can see that um, there's a sequence of events here, which is also very important in terms of their claims. So this is Roosh's article, the BBC and Reggie Yates released their hit piece on the Manosphere. So he has a link to the full documentary on YouTube, and when you try to click on it, you will see that it's been removed by the user. All right, now this is important because um, part of the DMCA claim is that the material that was taken was from a uh, source off of YouTube. So what Sundog Pictures did was they created a channel that was put under Reggie Yates' name, probably the same channel which where he uploaded a video asking to talk to MGTOW. Um, and that video was missing, unfortunately, when I went looking for it. But they did have a channel under the name Reggie Yates that had both of the documentaries in their three-part series, the two starting ones, that they uploaded in full to that channel. And then before they placed the DMCA claims, they deleted those two videos and the channel is now gone. So here's his link to his response video. And as you can see, this video was removed by a copyright claim from Sundog Pictures. Now my video was taken down by the same people, Sundog Pictures. So being the way I am, I did a little bit of research and I went to Sundog Productions website and they have a little thing called Our Story, in which they tell you about the values and the intent of their production company. And this is really fascinating. So this is Sundog Pictures' website, and they have a page called Our Story. Now, when you scroll down a little bit, they say the following. Because the digital world is such a great way for storytellers to disrupt the way people think, act, share, and engage, we want to create a different kind of production company, one based on social production, where engagement and shareability were hardwired into the way we tell our stories. Now, shareability, interesting word. They also have a little image that says, Sundog Pictures, starting conversations, not just reporting them. What does a conversation mean to Sundog Pictures when they use the DMCA? to silence the conversation. They finish up with, we want to change the way people watch and share. So one of the things I did, because my video was intended to be a conversation, 
was I tweeted the video to Reggie Yates and the BBC. And I was kind of half hoping for a response. Boy, did I get one. All right, so I'm going to keep this really short because part of having a copyright strike on your channel means that you have to limit the time of your videos. So um, I really think that considering Sundog wants to have some shareability, whatever that means, and they claim that they're trying to start conversations, I think that we should engage in a conversation with Sundog Productions on Twitter. And um, I'll put a link to their um website so that you can email them directly if you have opinions on their use of the DMCA.